So continuing our tutorial, um, we actually have all the major components. We're still missing one or two, uh, but I'll get to that in just a second. Um, here we have our mouse traps uh, that we purchased at Home Depot. We have our string that we also purchased from Home Depot, and also um, these eye hooks. And if you want to find these yourselves, it's number 216 half. Okay. In addition, I have my toy cars here. I have this one here, this green truck. I'm going to use its wheels, and also I am going to use the wheels. Uh, off of this truck as well. Now, just jump it into it. I'm just gonna pull the car out. So, you'll notice the tires on these trucks, and this truck here, and the one here are different. So, in my situation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the one on the left hand side, obviously, because the tires are a lot larger. And the ones on the right hand side, they have, you know, smaller wheels. I'll use those in the front. And, and also they look pretty cool. They're, they're sort of transparent, so that's going to create a very nice effect. Now, earlier I talked to you about um, certain mousetrap cars uh, not to buy. And this is also another kind you should avoid. And, uh, it's, and, and sometimes you might be able to and you might not be able to, depending on if your store sells it. But avoid the one with this little yellow portion here. And it, I believe that's really supposed to be cheese and a mouse is supposed to mistake that for a piece of cheese. I mean, I think mice are a lot smarter than that. So I don't think that's really going to help. So you want to find the ones that are uh, the ones that are shown in this bag here. I'll open it up right now. And it's pretty awesome. You get four and I paid about two dollars plus tax for these. So not too bad. Now, um, in the mousetrap car, you'll notice a few components, and I'll just sort of try and point them out to you to make things easier. Now, I call this sort of the, the thing that holds the latch together, which is this rod here. You have the coils here, which is like the spring um, that essentially is the thing that holds the power of the actual mousetrap. And you have this um, latch or something, and this holds the lock in place. Well, first thing you want to do is make sure to take this out. So you just have to push this up and this little pin here that you see, there's a little pin there. Don't know if you can see that. If you pull it up, it'll just pop right out. Or not, actually, I guess. So they actually did a better job this time of preventing people from pulling that off. So I'll use something here if I can. Wow, okay, that's never happened before. Now you have your mousetrap, and there's also a certain portion on the mousetrap car you need to be aware of, and it's this lock here. And, and this is sort of the mechanism that um, creates this force on this latch, this thing here. And so you can disable the mousetrap car so it won't snap on you by pulling this little bar up here, okay? Use your fingers, pull it up slowly, and then let and move it to the to left, to the left side here and now it's free. Now you can work on your mousetrap car. Pretty simple. But make sure you're aware of what's going to be the front and what's going to be the back side of your car. Now, I'll tell you now, for you to remember the back side of the car, the back side of the car is going to be pointed towards the mouse. This side here is going to be the back side of the, the, the actual vehicle. So just remember that. Wherever the V is pointing or the, or the mouse is looking at, that's the back side of the vehicle. It's a little confusing because you would automatically think that the front of the vehicle would be where the mouse was, but that's not the case here. Another item you might see here that I didn't show it earlier is uh, these thumbtacks. And you actually only need one, and the thumbtack is going to be useful for puncturing a hole in the mouse trap uh, for us to put our eye hooks in. Okay, so that's very simple. Now I'm going to jump back to the truck. So we have our truck here and you might be wondering, well how do we get the wheels out of the truck? And it's not that difficult for this particular model. Now to do this, what you want to do is just isolate the wheels, find a, a very good position and just spin them around a little bit. 
Okay. Actually, that's not a good thing, but we'll work that out, and I'll explain why. Anyhow, brace uh, or grab both wheels with both of your hands and slowly pull and, and wiggle this apart as you're doing that. Okay. What's going to happen is one of the wheels will pop out eventually. You see that? Now you have one wheel separated, and then you can pull this other wheel and its axle out. Now you've already secured one set of your wheels. Then you can just push it back in just for the time being, and there you go. We have one set of wheels ready to go. We also need to get the set of wheels out of this one as well. Now I haven't looked at this yet. We'll see how this goes. Alright, so this one looks pretty cool. Um, you kind of notice as well that one of these wheels seems kind of warped a bit, but that's okay. I'm not trying to build a competitive mousetrap. Now let's try the same thing again. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, sometimes it might, may or may not, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to just grab both of the wheels, grab it with both of your hands, and just slowly twist and start pulling on here and see what happens. Okay. Sometimes you have to apply a little bit more force than normal, but you also want to be careful that um, you're not damaging the wheels as well because you don't want to warp them yourself. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just clenching on one wheel and I'm essentially rotating the other one and hopefully at least one will budge. So try to be careful when you do this. Uh, you don't want to hurt yourself. There you go. Now we got this wheel out. Then we can just pull this axle hopefully really easily and there it goes. Now we have two sets of wheels ready to go and I think our car will look pretty cool at the end of this. So when you look for your car to pick, um, try to try to find some really cool ones out there. I mean, uh, you can definitely find some other vehicles that you think uh, might have some cool wheels and just make your car look nice at the same time. Um, so I think that's all for this portion. I'm going to continue in a bit. So hope Hopefully we'll see that happen. Alright guys, so uh, the next step in um, building your mousetrap car is figuring out where to put these axles. Okay, And the axle is this rod here that connects these two wheels. The challenge part, the ch I think this is probably one of the most challenging um, steps in making your mousetrap car is actually connecting your eye hooks onto the, the chassis, which is the body of the mousetrap car. Okay, now to do this, what you're going to want to do um, is make two dots on the side of the mousetrap car where you would like your eye hooks to enter the vehicle. Now this, since I didn't have a ruler on hand, I'm just going to eyeball this. You will want to use a ruler to make sure you actually get this right. So I'm just going to do this on the fly and hope it turns out right. Now, for the most part, you want to make sure that the spacing is pretty far apart. You want your, you want the eye hook to be located somewhere around in this area here, uh, because if you place your eye hooks closer to this region here, sorry, that's actually a little out of focus there. If you actually place your eye hooks in this region where the two lines are, you're going to have a hard time developing a very stable car. So essentially, the further apart you put these points, or where you're going to put your eye hooks, the more stable your vehicle will be. I wonder if I can focus in here and see what happens. Just give me a second to adjust. There we go. looks a little off in my opinion actually so uh, again you want to use a ruler make some lines to go this way and, and map this out and actually measure this or you're gonna have a little bit of problems so I'm gonna zoom out a bit okay and I've already made some other holes here and uh, but first let's jump to the next step the next thing you want to do is grab your thumbtack all right and be careful and don't poke yourself uh, is to puncture a hole at the marking that you made. Now when you do this, make sure that when you uh, puncture it that it's actually 
what is this perpendicular or parallel per perpendicular to the actual hole uh, that you actually made uh, because if, if it's not straight in uh, into it you actually will cause your eye hooks to go crooked for instance your eye hook might end up entering this way into your into the body which will actually make problems where you actually wanted to go in straight So what you want to do is hold the mousetrap car firmly, and it's a little hard doing this uh, with the camera in front, uh, sort of in the view, but uh, you want to puncture it as best you can. So I do apply quite a bit of force, and you, and you want to make sure that it goes in as straight as possible. Now, do you have to push it in all the way is another question. Um, you might want to push at least for this push pin, push it in at least halfway if you can. Okay, and then once you get that pushed in halfway, you're going to want to pull it out, obviously. And I'll make a hole here, and it, and it might not be obvious, but there is a hole there for you. And then you want to take your eye hook. Now this eye hook, you'll notice that there's a weird side here. You have the you have like this end here that starts and then you have it wrap around here. What you want to do is actually push push it in starting at the top side like this. And then just rotate. Now, if you made the hole a lot better, if you made it um fairly deep, it'll actually make it easier for you to put in the eye hook. So, that's something for you to practice with. Again, this is a very challenging portion uh, of actually putting in the eye hook and making sure it's perpendic perpendicular or straight into this. And uh, it's somewhat challenging for me. So you got to put a little force in as you push in the eye hook until it goes in all the way. Okay? And just keep going and uh, until the threads are completely submerged. The threads are, if you don't know, are the little teeth here. These are the threads that actually you want hidden all the way. Alright, there you go. So you have one eye hook in. Now I'm just going to skip over and put in all the eye hooks. You can do this yourself. Um, so I'll continue after that.